All right, so I'm on my way to pick up a new project car. Leaving Florida, going to Georgia. It's in Marietta, Georgia. It's a 2002 Audi S8. And I'll show it to you when I get there. Looks like it's gonna be an eight hour drive. There and an eight hour drive back. But it's worth it. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with it once I'm getting back home. Yeah, here is the car. I just decided to go home and then make this video. I did not have enough time at the place because the car has a bad transmission and it's stuck in reverse so I needed all the help I can get to load it on a trailer yeah so I picked this up in Georgia and I live in Florida I had to bring it back all the way here and the only reason I went to get this specific car is I like the color and it's an S8 not an A8 so here she is it's got 207,000 miles on it that's a 2002 engine runs the guy told me they even put a new block on it at some point so yeah bought this car for two grand it's in pretty good shape I have records of all the paperwork from when the car had 18,000 miles on it in pretty good condition for its year headliner is nice carpet is clean I took this out this is the ski for your skis to go or snowboard or whatever yeah but it's got this little visor I guess that comes out this window has it that, that door has it so it's pretty cool and I'm gonna take this engine out of here and the transmission and see if I can fit a Mercedes OM606 in here. It looks kind of tight, but maybe I can do it. That was my dream. If I have to, I'll cut into there somehow and make it work. I think this right here I can get rid of yeah so that's what I bought I'm gonna take the bumper off take the whole front clip off and then start pulling the engine and then I have this 99 Mercedes E300 turbo diesel with 142,000 miles and it's got an OM606 turbo diesel I bought it at an auction for uh, 1500 bucks and then with shipping and this and that came out to three grand so yeah 
There's the turbo. So I'm gonna see if I can fit this engine in this Audi. It's gonna be a big project. It's gonna be fun. I've never done it before. But I think I can do it. It's gonna take some time. So yes, yeah, stay tuned. I will be showing you how how is it going for me. I had a similar Mercedes like this. It was a black one that I did. That's on my channel. I just put a bigger turbo on it, hull set, gave it more fuel, and kind of it was pretty good. It was almost 300 horsepower. I sold it because I don't like this body. This body really tends to rust. So that's why I got this thing, which is all aluminum, and it's a better looking car. So I think it deserves an engine like this. It's going to be something different. And by the way, this engine, this is an automatic, and here's the throttle right here. It's all electronic. So to get rid of all that, because I don't want to have this Audi automatic I'm gonna make it manual so I bought I have a pump I have a mechanical pump I'm gonna take this intake manifold off put a mechanical pump on it make it all mechanical and then put a manual Mustang transmission on there I already have it in my garage I just need to uh, buy an adapter plate speed gems by the way sells them in Minnesota if anybody needs it so yeah so this is so this is a three liter inline six 177 horsepower I'm gonna put a bigger turbo on it eventually I'll put bigger plungers in the fuel pump later on after I have all this in the Audi and yeah it's gonna be manual so which is uh, the manual transmission came out of a 1988 Mustang it's the T5 so that's good. That's what I'm going to do.